Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that I hope will help broaden your Photoshop skill and be a bit fun and maybe a little silly as well. What we're going to do is we're going to put zebra stripes on an elephant. This exercise will give you a lot of practice with using some of the different selection tools that are found in Photoshop. Also, the two files we'll be using in today's video are actually free if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. You do not need an Adobe Stock subscription to get these files for free. Just a Creative Cloud, Crowd, Creative Cloud subscription. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you could download these files. Now, we have the elephant and we have a zebra pattern. What we need to do first is we need to define this zebra pattern. So I have it loaded in Photoshop. Just load your pattern into Photoshop, then go up to edit and then down to define pattern. When you do that, you get to name it. And I'm going to just name this zebra dash one, just like that and click OK. Now, if we look at the elephant, we have the head of the elephant in the body of the elephant. And if I just put a pattern over the elephant and let's say a zebra stripe is starting on the ear and it just continues uniformly to the body, that's just not going to look right. So what we need to do is really put the pattern on the head and then a variation of the pattern on the body so it just looks more realistic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our zebra pattern and I'm going to rotate it. So I'm just going to go up to image and image rotation and we're going to just do it 90 degrees clockwise just like that. Now we're going to define this pattern. We're going to go up to edit down to define pattern and I'm going to call this one zebra dash two and click OK. Now I'm done with the zebra pattern so I'm just going to close that right out right down. I don't need to save it. And now we have our elephant. Now I had mentioned that we're going to apply the pattern to the head. Then we're going to apply the pattern to the body. So I'm going to start with the head of the elephant and I need to get a selection of the elephant's head. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the selection tools. The keyboard shortcut is the W key. If you hit the W key, you'll get one of three different selection tools. And if I click with the left mouse button and hold, I'll see those three tools. The specific tool I want to use to select the elephant's head is the object selection tool. And when you get this tool, you get like a little plus sign. And what you need to do is just put that plus sign somewhere outside of where you want or what you want to select. In this case, the elephant's head. I'm going to go above and outside the trunk a little bit. And I'll draw this rectangle over the elephant's head. I don't care that I didn't get the entire tusk. I just want to make sure that I have the entire ear though and let go. And then it will think and it selected the elephant's head. You could see it did a pretty good job. It did select the tusk though and I don't want the tusk selected. Also it selected part of this, I guess you would say the upper neck of the elephant. Maybe it's the upper back. I don't want it selected up there. I just want the ear selected. So what I'm going to do is I need to deselect it from this tusk. So I'm going to get a different selection tool for that. So again, I'm going to left long press on the set of tools here and go to the quick selection tool. Now be de by default, when you use this tool, it'll be in the add tool. You could leave it there, even though we're going to be subtracting from the selection. To make it subtract when you have the add tool active, just hold the alt or option key. Alt if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac. And then you get the minus brush. And now we could come in and remove it from this tusk. And then let go and it did a pretty good job. Now I want to remove it from this upper part of the elephant. So I'm again going to hold the option key on my Mac, Alt key on a PC and kind of draw it that way. Now it kind of deselected part of the ear. So now I'll just reselect that with the same tool but I'm not going to hold in the Alt option key this time and just kind of reselect that ear. That looks pretty good. I have a nice selection of the elephant's head. Now we need to draw our pattern on this. And actually I'm going to see how it missed part of the ear here. I'm going to get a smaller, I just noticed this. I'm going to get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key. The right bracket key would make it larger. I'm going to hold in that, I'm going to hit that again. I'm going to hold in that, op, or that option key on my Mac. 
and kind of just deselect that. So that looks pretty good. That looks better. All right, so we have a nice selection of the elephant. I'm going to zoom out just a little. All right, now, let me hit Command-0 there. Fit it to screen is Command or Control-0. Now I want to draw our pattern on the elephant's head. I want to do that on its own layer. So I'm going to go over here to the far right at the bottom and click this little square with the plus sign in the middle so it's on its own layer. Now, to paint it, we're going to get a special clone stamp tool. If we go over here, the keyboard shortcut for the clone stamp tool is the S key. And there's actually two different clone stamp tools there. If I long press with the left mouse button, you'll see that there's the clone stamp tool and there's also the pattern stamp tool. We want that. We want normal mode. We want the opacity at 100%, flow at 100%, but we need to choose our pattern. We don't want this water pattern. So we'll click this drop down. And you'll see that our two patterns that we defined earlier are here. The first one we did, which was Zebra-1 and Zebra-2. I'm going to use Zebra-2 for the head. So I'm going to click on that, make it active. Now, when I brush, it will only brush inside of our selection. So if I brush up here outside of the selection, it won't do anything. So I could actually get a very large brush by hitting the right bracket keys. And then I could come in and paint this pattern on the elephant's head. Now it looks totally ridiculous. I'm going to get just a smaller brush so it's not as obnoxious by hitting the left bracket key. Now what we need to do is change the blend mode. So go over here on the far right. Right now it's in normal blend mode. Click on that and go to overlay. Now you can see it looks much more realistic. But it's hiding the elephant's eye. So I want to fix that. I'm going to get rid of the selection by hitting Command D for deselect on my Mac, Control D on a PC. We're going to zoom in a little. I'll hit Command Plus a couple times and move the image over. And maybe I'll bring opacity down temporarily so I can better see the elephant's eye. See the elephant's eye is right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the eraser. The E key is the eraser. It's right here. Just make sure you're actually using the eraser tool and not any of the other tools. Make sure we're on the layer that has the pattern. And we're going to use the brush at opacity 100%, flow at 100%. And I just want to get the inside of the eye here. We're actually erasing. You can't see it because I have opacity all the way down, almost all the way down. But we'll bring opacity back up. And you can see I cleared out the elephant's eye. Also, I used a pretty soft brush that helps with it. So, so far, so good. I'm going to fit this to screen again by hitting Command-0. Now, I need to select the rest of the elephant and not the elephant's head. Um, to do that, I'm going to get the quick selection tool. Again, if I long left press on the tools that are the selection tools, it's in my case, the middle tool. Your order might vary where they are, but I want the quick selection tool. I'm going to uh, add, so it's the plus one, and we're going to get a larger uh, brush by hitting the right bracket key. Then I'm going to come in and the body of the elephant. Make sure actually I'm clicked on the elephant layer, so I'm on that layer, and then come in and select the elephant. Now, it's not going to be perfect right off the bat, but we'll fix it. All right, come down here and get this leg, get this back leg, and get back in here, the butt of the elephant. Like that. Okay, now we over-selected on the ear a little bit, so I'm going to hold in the Option key on my Mac. Again, it's all key on a PC and try to fix that. That looks pretty de decent. Now I need to select this stuff up above. So I'm going to get a smaller brush, left bracket key, and I need to select up in here. And even a smaller brush, left bracket key. Again, I want to select all the parts that weren't selected. Of course, it over selected. I'm going to hold in the Option key again. Deselect there. See what it looks like? It overselected up on the sky. Again, I'll hold in the Alt Option key and kind of refine that up there. Make that a little better. That looks pretty good up there. We need to fix the elephant's hooves or are they feet or what are they? I don't think they have hooves, they have feet. So we're going to fix that, the elephant feet. And don't worry if down here, I mean where the grass is, it's not going to matter that much. All right, 
That looks pretty good. Now the tail's an issue. So I'm gonna come in here and try to select the tail, but it's selecting the grass also that is between the tail, and it over-selected over here. So I'm gonna get a slightly bigger brush, hit the right bracket key. I'm gonna hold in that Alt Option key again and deselect the grass on this behind, back side of the tail. But we have this area in here that we do not want selected between the back leg of the elephant and the tail. Now to deselect that, what I'm going to do now this time is use the last tool, the tool we haven't used, the Magic Wand tool. And again, um, if we hold the Alt Option key, it will subtract from the selection. What you want to make sure that is checked is contiguous. Because if I click on this grass, what it will do is it will select grass that isn't contiguous outside. I just want to select the grass that is contiguous between the tail and the leg. So I'm just going to click, I'm going to first hold in that Alt Option key and click right there. And it made a selection, didn't get it all. So we'll keep that Alt Option key held in and click there. And it's kind of messing up in here. We'll just keep clicking until we select there. Oops, I overdid it. So I'm going to undo what I just did by hitting Command Z on my Mac. It's Control Z on a PC. And actually, that looks pretty good. That's fine. So we have the body of the elephant selected now. We need to put our pattern on here. What we're going to do is click on that layer one. We're going to add a new layer above this. Click the little plus sign down here in the lower right hand corner. We're again going to get that pattern stamp tool, which is right here. Again, the keyboard shortcut is S. And we're going to get a larger brush. But before I do that, let's get a different pattern. We don't want that pattern we used last time. Let's use the horizontal version of it and get a really big brush and come in and paint it on the elephant. Again, it looks kind of silly. But then we go over here and we change the blend mode to overlay. And now I'll get rid of the marching ants by hitting Command D on my Mac, Control D on a PC. We have an elephant with stripes. Now, if you wanna vary it, oh, like maybe the opacity a little bit, what I would suggest you do is take these two layers, click on the top layer, which is called layer two in my case, hold in the command key or control key and click on layer one so they're both selected. Put them in a group together by clicking on this little folder. Now we have both of those layers inside of this folder. Go to the opacity for the folder and pull it down a little bit. Maybe it'll look more realistic. And that's it. That's how you put stripes on an elephant. And as I mentioned, I was kind of hoping this would help broaden your Photoshop skills and give you some practice with using different selection tools found in Photoshop. Now I mentioned, if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you could download both of these images for free. In the description below this video, I'll have the ID numbers for each of these images. What you need to do is just copy and paste those IDs. Right now I have them in a text app. This top one is for the elephant. I'm just going to copy that to the clipboard. Then what you do is go to your Creative Cloud app, Go to Stock and Marketplace. This drop down change to free. The search bar put that number, the ID number for the first image. Click Enter. It'll open up your browser, automatically log you into your Adobe account, and then you could download the elephant. Now, for me, it says re download for free because I already downloaded it. Do the same thing. Uh, you could do it up here, though, for the pattern. As a matter of fact, why don't I just do that so you could see that it's free. We'll copy that and go up here and hit enter and there's the pattern and you could download that for free as well. And then you could practice this technique that I just showed you. Just minimize that and minimize that. And you could practice this and hopefully uh, teach you something you didn't know how to do in the past in Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>